What if you could never have to export your ClickUp tasks again? I'm going to show you how to save hours from exporting your ClickUp tasks, whether it's for data analysis, as a backup, or to share them with someone from your team, you're going to discover the one tool that's going to help you export your ClickUp tasks into a spreadsheet in a few seconds. As an example, we're going to use this list, which is my content calendar. It's basically my database for all my social media content that I keep here. We have a custom field with my socials. We have my publishing date. We have the format. I can pick whether this is a post, a thread, a video, or short. So I've built this content management system so that I can easily handle it and see my content. I can have it as a calendar view as well and see whatever's popping in the coming month or what I published lately. But what if I want to export this data to a spreadsheet? What if I want to use all of this information for analysis or just to repurpose my content? Maybe I could plug it with AI to reuse the content that worked. Obviously working in ClickUp for task management is great, but sometimes you just want to get a higher picture or simply back it up or share it with someone that doesn't have ClickUp. ClickUp offers a feature for this, which is exports of your tasks. And if we go into customize right here on the right and export view, you can pick what you want to export. Only visible columns, task names, all columns. Let's pick all columns, for example. And then you can choose whether you want to export in CSV format or Excel format. Because we're going to import this in Google Sheets, we can pick CSV. Then you can pick your date format, your time format, and how your time and status is displayed. Let's stick with what's picked by default and click download. Your web browser will download this CSV and from there you can use it. So that CSV is downloaded. It's right here. From there, I can go into Google Sheets and import my data. So I'm going to go into File and then Import. And then I'm going to go into Upload, Browse, and pick my CSV. Once I've picked my CSV file, it will bring it in the spreadsheet I'm in. I've created a spreadsheet called Content Calendar, and then I can pick to insert this file as a new sheet and detect automatically the operators. Whatever is picked by default, you can stick with that and click Import Data. Once your data is exported, it's going to appear in your sheet. And from there, you can use it. You'll have your task ID, task name, parent ID, status, and everything. You can obviously hover. You can see the dates. They're going to pop up as full date names with the time and everything. You can see the folder, the list, the space where it is, and everything. Everything that's in ClickUp is basically reflecting in the spreadsheet. Obviously, you can do that in a ClickUp dashboard, but you're never going to be able to go as far as with a spreadsheet tool where you can drill down really deep on the data and really manipulate it and display it and filter it the way you want. This one way is already very handy. Again, you go into ClickUp, you go into Customize, and then you can export your view and pick what you export and import it to Google Sheet. Or if you use Excel, just download it as an Excel file. But the thing is, you cannot refresh that data, first of all. So what if you wanted in a single click to see all the extra content popping up by refreshing it next week, for example? And the second thing is that it is quite cumbersome. You have a lot of fields. Some of the fields you probably don't need, you probably won't use. And this is not very user friendly, I find. It just exports everything at once, but you cannot really read and explore and understand those tasks and how they're displayed. Basically, the fields order doesn't make sense all the time and everything. It's not the best way to manipulate the data. You're going to have a lot of work of just hiding the fields you don't need, of just organizing it the way you want. And that's the reason why I've created one tool that lets you pull the data from your ClickUp lists and keeps it in sync forever. That tool is called ClickUp to Sheets. Now, there's two ways to add a Google Workspace add-on. Add-ons are extra features that you can add to a Google tool, whether it's a spreadsheet, Gmail, etc. Today, we're interested about this extra feature that lets you bring in your ClickUp tasks to Google Sheets. To add this add-on, you can go into Extensions, Add-ons, and Get Add-ons. One faster way to do this, if you have the sidebar already popped up, is to click into Get Add-ons right here. And then you're going to look up for an add-on called ClickUp to Sheets. So all you have to type is ClickUp, and from there, it should pop up in the top results. 
And if you click right here, you're gonna see the Google Workspace add-on I have worked on and I have developed myself. So this tool, as it said, it lets you sync your ClickUp task with Google Sheets. For now, it lets you bring in your ClickUp tasks from any list to Google Sheets and also refresh that sync as many times as you want. In the future, there's gonna be a lot of other features, but for now, it's pretty neat to just be able to bring your ClickUp task and to pick what you can bring. You can bring as many ClickUp lists you want to Google Sheets, update your tasks on the fly, and sync your ClickUp task with Google Sheets. Now, eventually, I'd love to be able to let you sync your Google Sheet with ClickUp. That way you can do changes in batch in Google Sheets and will reflect in ClickUp. That'll be amazing, but it's obviously way more complicated to set up and it's a feature that I have to work on, but eventually you'll be able to work the other way around and I'll do another video around this because I think this is gonna be pretty huge. So now that it's said, all you have to do is click install right here and you're gonna be able to bring in this add-on to your Google Sheet. So you're gonna pick your Google account and then click continue. And from there, you're gonna allow a bunch of things. Then once you click allow, it should show up. Click up to sheets has been installed. And from there, you can click next and done and leave that little window. And an extra icon is gonna pop up right here, right below your Google tools or other extensions, if you have any. You're gonna click this add on. Now, once you open it, it should tell you, thank you for installing ClickUp to Sheets, connect ClickUp to get started. So if you click connect ClickUp right here, it will pop up a new window. And from there, you're gonna see all your ClickUp workspaces. Now I've hidden a few because I have quite a lot of client workspaces, but I'm gonna pick my personal ones. Let's pick this one, this one, and this one, and click connect workspaces. Once that's done, it should tell you that it works and that you can now close this window. I'm gonna close this tab and get back to here. And from there, it will tell you your workspaces are connected and then click get started. Once you click get started, it will know exactly which workspaces to look in because you've allowed these different workspaces. And let's have a look back at our list right here. So we can see it's stored in the workspace called Hey Ramsey and then in the space that has the same name, then a folder called Content Hub and Calendar List. Now you're gonna look up that hierarchy in the different dropdowns that appear right here. I'm gonna look up for Hey Ramsey, and then from there, it's gonna pull all the different spaces, and then it's gonna look up the folders, and there's a folder called Content Hub. If it's not in the folder, by the way, it's gonna show you the option to pick a folder list list. From there, you can pick your list and that's a list called calendar. And once that's done, all you have to do is pick what you wanna include. And that's where the tool becomes quite interesting because you don't have to bring in everything from your list. You can choose different filters and in the future, I'll add more sync options. So you can bring in closed tasks, task descriptions, custom fields. And as an example, we could just decide to bring the closed tasks and the task descriptions without the custom fields. That way we'll have a much simpler display in Google Sheets. Once you do that, you can click sync my list. And what it will do is look up your tasks in the background from that list and create a new tab that has the name of your list with the different columns. And then it's gonna pull all those tasks in a few seconds without you having to download it from ClickUp and to import it in Google Sheets and to organize it and display the way you want. So as you can see, maybe like 10 seconds, it brought all the tasks that are exactly the same as here. So we should have as many tasks as in the previous import. Now, the other cool thing is that it throws the first row. That way we know exactly what we're talking about. This is description, they close, etc. And from there, you can just change your column sizes. You can reorganize descriptions, your start dates, your due dates and everything. And you can really display things the way you want. You can make rows the same height if you want to. Obviously you can do all of that right here in the import we did manually, but it's just a little bit neater and easier to do it once the row is frozen and how the columns are organized because there's way less columns that are brought in through the options than with the default import. Once we've done that, you can go into view syncs and the best part is that you can refresh the sync. So if we go into the gear right here, into settings, and 
we want to include the custom fields, we can just turn that on. And then all we have to do is click update sync and it will bring in the custom fields that I showed you earlier. So it added them points, socials, batch, publishing, post topic, etc. And then from there is just going to bring this data to the extension plus the extra tasks that have been created. As you can see, it's added all the tasks right here, socials, app ID, batch, etc. Now say I create a new task in this list. I'm going to add a task and call it, this is a new post example. And then I can add a description, description example. And if I want to, I can obviously like show custom fields and add extra custom fields. I could add a description, the format and any data I want. I'm going to create this task. Now, if I wanted to import this new import with this extra tasks to Google Sheets manually, I'd have to go to customize again, export view, and just pick my view, import it to Google Sheets, blah, blah. So it's going to take me at least like a minute or two, right? The amazing thing with ClickUp to Sheets is that you just get back there, you go into view syncs, you go into your gear, and then you click update sync, and that's it. And that extra task is pulled in. Now it's been synced and I can click command F and just find in my sheet the task called example. There should be one that has that name. So here it is all the way to the bottom. This is a new post example, start date, due date. And then you have the description I've added. Obviously you have the custom fields I've added, LinkedIn now, etc., etc. So everything has been imported. It took a few seconds. And if you've created a hundred tasks in the list within a week and you just do another import, it's going to import those extra 100 tasks. That's a great part about ClickUp to Sheets. You can import and update your syncs as many times as you want. The best part is that very, very soon as this video is published, it's going to automatically do those syncs in the background for you so that you don't have to manually update. You can just wake up in the morning, look at your task and see those extra tasks that came from ClickUp to Google Sheets. Obviously you want to work in ClickUp, but just as a backup or just to export it, or if you have some reporting that you have in Google Sheets and you want it to present in a Google slide to your coworker or your manager, you can just do that and that data will be refreshed automatically through Google Sheets. Now, what I like about Google Sheets, and that's not tied to how ClickUp to Sheets work, but you can convert your custom fields to drop down chips. That way you can see the different statuses and the different types right here. So you can pick your batches, you can pick your post topics, I can pick all kinds of information. And in the future, these drop down fields will reflect in ClickUp. And that's what I want to create. Say you want to update in a batch your post topics. You can just drag and drop this, and then you'll be able to do a sync. It'll just pull the information from Google Sheets this time and just update it in ClickUp. And that's the amazing part. And that's a feature that's coming by the end of the year. Now, just as a last example, I'm going to show you that you can bring in another list if you wanted to. If I click sync new list, and if I go in another workspace, I am going to be able to just pick another list if I wanted to. All right, let's actually pick this one, agencies. So we're going to go into the space called delivery. And then from there, just pick some of the folders, whatever it is, ongoing, and pick a list now. So let's pick Gringotts Wizard Bank. And I'm just going to bring everything this time, just the close tasks, the descriptions, and the custom fields, and click Sync My List. And you should just bring in everything from ClickUp again in a few minutes. If you did that, if you just navigated your workspaces, your key and ClickUp, it would take ages. Right here, it took maybe a few seconds and you have all that information. Again, that's cool. That's what I love about ClickUp to Sheets. Now, if you go into your homepage, you're going to see that trial popping up. ClickUp to Sheets is free for seven days so that you can try it and see if it really works for you, if it's really useful, if it helps you on your day to day. And I really created that with my clients in mind because I know some of my clients need that kind of feature for different reasons, whether it's backup, whether it's reporting, whether it's importing in another tool. Maybe you can pull all your invoices from ClickUp and import them and send them in batch or all your contract signatures. You have an automation in ClickUp that creates contract signature tasks. 
and you just want to export them and then use them in your DocuSign to just automate signature sending, all kinds of different tools. There's all kinds of different use cases, and this tool is here to help you save time with these experts. Now, if you're happy about it, you can click subscribe now and it will lead you to the homepage of ClickUp to Sheets and to the pricing section. We will have to click subscribe and from there you can pick a plan. And for now, it's $7 a month if it's billed yearly and $9 a month if it's billed monthly. And for that, you have one click sync from ClickUp to Google Sheets. You can sync as many lists as you want, as many closed tasks as you want, descriptions, comments, custom fields. And very soon, you're gonna be able to sync your subtasks. You're gonna have automated syncs in the background and the two-way syncs I've been talking about. Now, this is an early bird price. That price is gonna increase for sure for the pro plan. Now, I'm gonna do probably lower plans that are gonna let you use some basic, some essential features of ClickUp to Sheets, but the pro plan, which is gonna be the highest tier, is definitely gonna increase over time. So if you wanna benefit from the existing features, plus all the upcoming ones, you have to subscribe right now. So thank you for watching this video through the end. There is a discount code right in the description. You're gonna be able to get pretty generous discount if you click subscribe and you go through the process of payment and enter your promo code right here. If you have any questions, any feature requests, just leave a comment right below and I'll be happy to consider it as the upcoming feature for ClickUp to Sheets. And if you're interested and you never want to export your ClickUp tasks again, just get ClickUp to Sheets add-on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.